I pay, yes, I pay it goes. over 1.5 million that are monthly. You that's, can imagine that's, in movie. that's a major story. <laughs> and that's, that's actually so true. Let me remind me. I have known you for like more than 10 years. Yes. I was, I was really looking forward to coming for this show. I know. It's the very, like, you know, this very, this uncle, sisters, this is what's happening right now. Like, he's like my uncle. Like, I've known him forever. But it's, it's, it's so nice to hear you, you know, speak so passionately about having your own business. Now, let's go into, like, the real detail of it. Okay. Hairstyling. Um, many people are not uh, very open to perhaps going into hairstyling. I have friends when I was in the university who were very good at it. But. It was it was seen as you know something that was for people who were struggling you know that woman there who didn't have any education and just wanted to you know busy herself you know have a shop in front of her house to make care for people not many people have seen the business side of it yeah. how, how are you able to draw that line and then i mean you have brought it in such a way that it's cool to be a hairstylist yeah how how, how did you happen upon that with, with the first thing that I did, you know, I, I, st I actually started the business. Mm. There, I, there is no salon in the group that I don't know. Those are not the things. Those are the things that I take attention to and all that. Okay, yeah. so I started, because I wanted, wanted to do something different, mm. you know. And uh, I wanted to do, to create a, a platform that stands, you know, to be proud of what they're doing. Mm. You can see what I'm about in the community. No, yeah. Something like that, you know. Mm. Not just going to the business to do, to, to do, to make money. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for, you know, I haven't studied the business and all that. I also went to a primary school, so that I can also know how to package that set of business. Wow. But I discovered that, you know, you know, so sometimes, you know, as a bank, you have to know what is strength. You know, I discovered mm. it was a mock, you know, a lot of people are going to yes. the one stop shop, people go there. Well, but the challenge, challenge for me was that it was very expensive, you know, to get a shop in the mall. And and I told myself, if I can, if I can do this, you know, it will be a big thing because stylists they want to go to a place like that. I want to walk mm -hmm. and a place they can be proud of, you know. And that is what I wanted to do. But God made it happen for me. <laughs> so now they are my staff. They are proud that mm -hmm. they are working, you know, in a place. Like we are open sure that with the big brands. Shop rights, but the, the just name all the brand location is also very important. It is, it is. And now, so, I'm here thinking for people who have you know that dream of perhaps having their own salon and they want to go like you know full throttle at it, would it be necessary to perhaps get like a loan or something? Because I know like you started from a shop. You know, and now you are like at two malls, like malls in Lagos, okay. right? Um, what would be the first and most important thing if anyone who's listening right now wants to go into this business that you have, you know, succeeded so well at? Okay, let, let, me, let me just put it this way. And you know, if you want to do a business, it's not just about going into making money. Mm -hmm. Every business has a message. You know, what do you want to use your business to do? Mm -hmm. You know, then you have to find out what is the right platform that you can create, mm -hmm. you know, that will make your business easy for people to have access to. You understand? But what a lot of people they go they want to do it to make money. But I'm not just doing business. I'm not just doing salon. It's more like a salon. <laughs> now it's like it's a platform, you know, for stylists to express their potential to express themselves. We're not just giving beauty, you know, we're also giving hope to our generation, to our world. Mm -hmm. Because like for instance, I was a banker, I was asked to resign, but today I'm giving jobs. And we have converted a lot of cleaners, you know, to they, they almost all my staff, they have stories to tell. We have we've converted, converted a lot of cleaners to stay high studies, and now we have female barbers who are doing exploits, you know, and all that. And we still want to do more. So it's not just we do hair, we make hair. You know, if, if for instance, if, if, if we don't pride, you know, like we don't take pride in making people beautiful doing hair, because if you know, if you don't have to make people beautiful, you know, it's, it's just a basic thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like we want the station where by when people come, they meet us, you know. We tell them we're using this platform, this hairstyle, you know, to actually express ourselves. You know, you know, like for instance, you come to our shop and you have somebody making your hair and you're very good at it and it tells you her story. I used to be a cleaner, mm -hmm. you know, I was earning this amount of money. This is how so much I'm earning. Drinking. This is what I'm earning. Mm -hmm. We have people, I have almost like five people who are working and also schooling. Wow. They're not going to school, not because they want to. After the school, they will go back, you know. But the, 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 just to let people know that, look, I can make a living out of yes. it. Yes. So, sometimes I joke, I say, how much is a bottle of mineral? I don't want to mention it. <laughs> yeah. I mean. 
the back of red mirror. Mm. But the list in our show, 500 mirror, we're even more expensive. But the difference is that we need to multiply. You know, we need to do mass, reach out to a lot of people mm. so that we try, we can see they can be as rich as those people. Absolutely. It's just for people to see that, you know. Let them begin to see the other things, not just mm -hmm. the, the money aspect of it. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you begin to use your business to give back to the society, mm. money will chase you. It's interesting, like, money will chase a lot of times, you know, when I talk to business owners, yeah. um, and I think even very recently, everyone is really concerned about, oh, so look at my story, like, um, I went from this and I'm here now, and it's almost like it was a smooth sailing journey for you. I'm very sure you had challenges, regardless of how much success you have been able to, you know, uh, uh, record in the time that I knew you and I mean now that you know everything has just you know turned out very perfectly, what were the immediate changes that you faced that perhaps anyone who's listening right now would face and how are they how can they um, guard against you know, some of these challenges? There were a lot of challenges mm -hmm. I would make to you and you know, there was time that you know <laughs> that uh, you know like 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 maybe just say the if I knew I was gonna get to where I am today mm. I would have enjoyed all the all the heartbreaks, the, the rejection, <laughs> the disappointment, you know, everything I would have enjoyed. I would have enjoyed every bit of it. You know, most of the things that we pass through in life, most of the challenges that we pass through in life, they actually, you know, God using them to build, you know, us at the same time to cook up a story for us. Mm. You know, because people actually buy stories. Brands, big brands, they tell stories. You know, the story, the story is not what happened to you. It is what you make and what happened to you. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. You know, if you're using your business, if you are using your business to tell your stories, people people, people were emotional human you know, beings. You know, I, I have a lot of customers, people who come because because they heard my story. This guy used to be in the bank. Now he's a hairstylist. You understand? So if you have a story, whatever you are passing through, whatever challenge you're passing through, it's just part of cooking up a story for you. You need to have a story. Absolutely. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> I could spend the entire day talking about this and we'll just be scratching off the surface. But unfortunately, this is all we have time for on today's edition of Your Business and Business. I would definitely bring Bruno back on the show. That is, it's, it's imperative that I bring you back on the show to share some more and just you know inspire as many young business owners as you know out there and just need this inspiration and this motivation um and of course the, the positive vibe that you just give up it's, it's amazing it's unmistakable as well Lagos that's what we have to have for today do make sure that you tune in tomorrow at 8 15 for your business my business do not forget that you can send me an email your bees my bees at city 1051 fm.com that's why all you are B I Z M Y B I Z at city one zero five one fm dot com. Go on a very short break and when we come back, we do have etiquette with Janet right here on City FM. Thanks, Bruno, once again for coming on the show. Wow, thank you for